what is the purpose of doing anything ever? This was a thing that like when I was in high school, I started struggling with. I started getting into more like spirituality stuff and I started thinking like, is there even a purpose to the universe? And then I'm like, what's the purpose of me ever doing anything ever? Because if I don't wanna go to things to be happy, what is the purpose of me doing anything? Because isn't the reason you do anything to be happy? I mean, if you think about it, like, why do you brush your teeth? Because you want clean teeth. Why do you want clean teeth? Because you think it'll make your teeth healthier. Why do you want your teeth to be healthier? Because you think it'll make you happier. Like if you, if you look at anything you do, you can just keep asking why you want that, why you want that, why you want that. And eventually it's because you think you, it'll make you happier. And I, and I was reaching this point and I was just like, okay, I don't want to go to things to make me happy. So then what's the point in me ever doing anything? What is the purpose of anything? What is the purpose of life? What is the purpose of any of this? And it made me feel helpless in a way. And if that's you, perhaps this video might help you because what I'm going to share with you helped me actually look at life and be like, this is purposeless, but that's the best thing. Purposelessness is a good thing. If life had a purpose, that would be bad. You don't want life to have a purpose. And th these ideas made me so much happier. So if that's you, sun's coming in. If that's you, stick around for this video. It, it, may, it may help you, it helped me. So let me start by saying, why I think that there is no purpose in life and why I think that's a good thing. This philosopher, Alan Watts, love this man, has helped me so much. He, uh, he has this sort of metaphor he relates this to. And he relates life to music or dancing or singing or, or anything creative, right? What is the purpose of music? What is the purpose of a song? Well, you could say it's the song itself. What's the purpose of dancing? It's the dancing itself. When you're dancing, you're not trying to get to a specific point on the floor. When you're singing a song, it's not about getting to the end. It's about the song. So that's what life is about. At least that's what I think. Life isn't about getting to a specific end. Life is about living right here. Right at this moment, right now, this is what life is about. There's nothing you need to get to. And as I've said in earlier videos, even if you get to those points that you think you need to get to, they aren't gonna make you happy. Life is about what's going on right now. The song of life, the dance of life, like get in with the dance. It's, it's happening right now, it's already here. This is it, get with it. Because if you're focused on something in the future, you're never gonna, you're gonna look back and realize, man, the whole time it was a musical thing, it was a dancing thing, and I never danced with it. That's sort of the mindset on, on that, on purposelessness life, because there's no, there's no purpose beyond the thing itself. There's no purpose beyond the dancing. The dancing is the purpose. So, What's the purpose of doing anything? It's to do it, it's to do the dance, to be with the dance of life. I really like, like the metaphor of swimming. So if you're really enjoying swimming, if you're really actually just swimming and enjoying the swimming, you're experiencing the water, you're brushing your fingers through the, through the water, laying down on your back, or, or, or letting the air out and dropping down into the water and, and moving your arms in different ways. You're really swimming. You're experiencing what it is to swim. But if you're swimming because you're trying to go from here to here in the pool, your goal is to get from there to there. You're not thinking about the swimming. You're not enjoying the swimming anymore. You're focused on getting there. You want to get to that place. And what I'm saying is, that defeats the whole purpose of swimming. You just, you just lived this right here is your whole life. And you were focused on getting here the whole time, but you forgot that this was your life. <laughs> this was the part you were supposed to enjoy. So 
That's the purpose of doing anything. It's to, to experience it, to fully do it. it. Like, pay attention to your senses. Again, this is, this is what's helped me. <laughs> pay attention to, uh, paying attention to my senses and experiencing what's act, what I'm actually doing right now. Because that's the whole purpose in life. That's the purpose. There's no purpose beyond the actual doing of it. That's what's really helped me. And then you, you may wonder, right? Well, I can't just do anything in the moment. Like, I have to, I have to go to work. Like, I have to pay bills. Or, or I have to go to school. I have to, I have to get A's. Like, I can't just, like, enjoy the swimming. The way I like to see that is like this, right? F the first thing that helps me in that in that realm is is the idea that you don't have to survive now <laughs> it sounds weird but think about it right again this is a thing alan watts kind of talked about but if you have a bird you may ask like what's the purpose of the bird or or why is the bird chirping and then you say okay it's because the bird wants to mate well why does the bird the bird have to mate well, because it has to reproduce. Why does it have to reproduce? Because survival. Well, why does it have to, to survive? Well, you know, you, you, you got to survive. Why? Do you, I mean, do you really have to? Is there really, do you really have to survive in life? And the reason I, I bring this up is to say, when we are doing something because we feel like we have to do it, it takes the fun out of it. Think about the difference between a game and what you do when you go to work. In both situations, both a game, like a board game, video game, any kind of game, and what you're doing at work, in both of them, there is an outcome you're trying to get and an outcome you're trying to avoid. And, and, you're tr and you have a certain strategy to get that good outcome and to avoid that bad outcome in both the game and the work. So what's the difference? Work is something you think you have to do. But what I'm telling you is you don't have to. Work is something you can do if you would like to play the game of survival. And the way I see that is this, right? If you look at a tree, yes, it is surviving, but the survival is a dance. Now, let me explain why. Here's a tree, okay? You can say the purpose of this tree is to drop seeds because it needs to reproduce. Well, perhaps the purpose of the seed is to grow into a tree. And then the tree to the seed and the seed to the tree. So it's going seed, tree, seed, tree, seed, tree. Over and over and over again. Why? What's the purpose of that? What is the purpose of that? I'd say there is no purpose of it. The purpose of it is to just do it. The tree is in a way dancing. I mean, if you think about it, right, when you dance, like let's say you're, you're tapping your foot, you're, this is your foot, you're going up, down, up, down. It's like the tree. You're going seed tree, seed tree, seed tree. It's dancing. That's, that's how I like to see it because what, I mean, what else is the purpose of it? Why is the tree doing that? Why is it surviving? It's, it seems like a musical thing to me. Is the universe really trying to get somewhere with what it's doing? And if it is, what's the purpose of that? I would say the purpose of the whole thing is to just do it. The universe is just doing all of this just to do it. Just, just, just to do it. So the reason I bring up that tree metaphor and the dancing metaphor and all that is because I think the reason for going to work can be just to do it. You make, you make money to survive, to make money to survive, to make money to survive. Seed tree, seed tree, seed tree. But when you're actually going to work, you don't have to be thinking about, I'm doing this to survive. In fact, if you're, if you're thinking about it like that, it's like thinking about it like, oh, I'm going, going from here to here for the purpose of getting there and you're not enjoying the swimming. So while you're at work, enjoy the work. Now, this sounds crazy, but think about it in the terms of, of how I explain that game. You're playing the game to play the game. Even though there's a certain outcome you're trying to get, you're trying to win the game 
at work, you're trying to hit the sales quota. You're trying to, to hit whatever outcome you're trying to hit in, in, in your work. So you have a strategy. Enjoy that strategy. Like when you're playing a game, you have a strategy to win. Enjoy that strategy. Come up with the strategy and carry it out. Enjoy that. Like get with it. You don't have to f try to force yourself to enjoy it, but at least experience it. Just like you experience the swimming, it, it, like like connect with your senses and, and what it is to do what you're doing. Connect with that. Connect with the actual doing of the, of the work. And realize, this is again what's helped me is realizing, I don't have to go to work. The, I may be working to survive just to continue surviving just so I can keep on working to continue surviving. And to me, that is a game. That is a dance. Work, survive, work, survive, work, survive. But if the work is enjoyable, if you're really connecting with it, you can learn to enjoy it. So now you're enjoying this dance of work, survive, work, survive. It doesn't have to be this, this like horrible responsibility. So yeah. I know this video is kind of all over the place, but I'm just, I'm just trying to express it. I mean, like that's to me is the point of life to just live here, experiencing what you're doing, not trying to get to a certain place. And the purpose of the thing you're doing, like the swimming, the reason you're swimming in the first place is to swim. You're not doing it for anything else. It's to swim. So when you go to work, or when you do literally anything, you can connect with the doing of it. So yeah, that's what I want to share here today. So um, I hope maybe this has helped you in some way. If, if you were like me with the thinking there's no purpose in anything and having that make me feel bad. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.